or it's kind of flour. Hmm. We just got giddy in this last interview. You did? <laughs> yeah, I got giddy. You should be Slated. ashamed of yourself, <laughs> I know. After a long, full day, Julia's getting giddy, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how I get around this time. Is that what a good Midwestern girl does in Hollywood? What, gets giddy? <laughs> yeah, now and then. Things have changed for you since the last time we talked. Uh, you know, improved, changed, uh, constant evolution, yes, I guess. all huh? for the better. Yeah, tell me how, th how things are going. Well, I got married. That was uh -huh. a big change, except right. it really wasn't a very big change, but right. it well, was wonderful. It wasn't a surprise to no, any of us who no. knew. Uh, very long courtship, but yeah. it was uh, a wonderful experience. We got married in Ireland, which I think everybody in Minneapolis, my hometown, knows. Yeah. Because uh, I think it was in the paper, and my family was right. there, and goodness knows they spread the word. I can't understand that with a name like Duffy. Why would you <laughs> Ireland? Ed Lacey. <laughs> He's yes. Irish, too. Yeah. How did, how did they, relatives in Ireland? Is that why it came No, around? no, we have no, well, I found some relatives in Ireland, mm -hmm. but that wasn't the reason. But we had been there six years ago, and we thought this mm -hmm. would be so great if we could ever do this. And I never really thought that we would. And one night we started talking about it, and it grew into the event of the century. We gave the families tickets for Christmas, mm -hmm. uh, last Christmas, and they came over in June. We stayed three weeks. They came for the last week and for the wedding because you have to stay four weeks to get married there. And we all just had an absolutely wonderful, magical time is the only way to describe it. You know, I was, I thought I knew most of the things about the background of Julia Duffy, but I, in looking over the bio from CBS, I didn't know you were a bird watcher. I've never you heard didn't? Of, no, tell me. How could I not have known that I, I can't imagine. I wasn't <laughs> when I lived in Minneapolis. Uh, maybe that's I, why. I wasn't until I met my husband. But he's, uh, he's very good at it. He's much better than I am. I, I specialize in easy to identify birds that don't look anything like another bird. It can get very difficult when you're looking at the little brown ones that all look alike. Very good at it. Th this sounds serious, huh? Well, I, I mean, we're not, you know, serious about yeah. it. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it adds an element to being outside. It's fun. Uh -huh. Newhart is, is consistently doing extremely well, isn't it? That it must really be, is. That must be such a joy. It is. The ratings are fantastic. We all take great pride and delight in the success of the show, but it's very fulfilling because we all think that it's wonderful. We think it's particularly wonderful this year with uh, the addition of Peter to the cast as my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. We also have a new staff of writers who are even better than last year, and they've just done so much for the show. They've really expanded the show, I think. They've expanded it so much that you can imagine story ideas for the next five years, which I think it will be with our ratings. Mm -hmm. Since so many folks back in the Twin Cities know Jerry Lacey and, and know the two of you are married and uh -huh. so forth, give us a little update on how things are going for Jerry. Uh, well, the most recent thing he did was a Knott's Landing where he played Julie Harris as a psychiatrist. Mm -hmm. And he just got uh, a TV movie, but I don't know enough about it to say anything. It's too new, so Any I can't discuss it. Any new plans in the, in the uh, Lacey Duffy partnership? Any? What what are you getting at, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving that wide open for you to tell me. You think this is the first place where I'm going to reveal that? No, I noth um, nothing See, like that. See, all of a sudden, something occurred to her, folks. It hadn't occurred to me. So now we are. Oh, now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> now we're onto something. Someday, not immediately. Uh -huh. You live in Tarzana, which yes. is just in the valley, just outside. Mm -hmm. Is is this um, a lifestyle that would be familiar to Twin Cityans, or is it an exotic, wild kind of uh, Hollywood scene? Uh, oh God, no. <laughs> People always say, so you don't go to Hollywood parties, and I always say, well, no one ever asks me. I mean, it's not like I'm turning them down, but no, we don't go to Hollywood parties. We don't know those people. We don't really do that. I think that it's be very familiar to people in the Midwest, except that we get to do it all year because the weather's so great. Mm -hmm. My wife, who works out here, and Nancy Nelson, who many of you know, uh, has some feelings about the 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 contrasting nature of uh, friendships here and of um, the the warmth of people and so forth. Have you have you felt a difference? Well. Minneapolis is so friendly. It would be awfully hard to beat Minneapolis. It's a very special place. I've never found a city that I like as well. 
partly because it's my hometown, but I also think it's just a fabulous city that has something to offer everyone. But uh, I think that in the valley where I live, it's very suburban, and it has much more of that feeling than Hollywood does. So uh, it's, it's not too different. Any other shows other than Newhart? I know you've, you've we've talked to you for Blue and the Gray, and you've done other things from time to time. Any Is your intense involvement with Newhart allowing you time to do any other things? It doesn't during the time I'm doing it, no. Once we're off, which we will be in a month, we'll have six months off. And during that six time, months. I can do other things. Mm -hmm. We shoot the 22 shows in about six months each year, from about July to January. And then hopefully I'll do other things, as I did last hiatus. As we have before, we will take your greetings back to the folks at the oh, Old yes, Log Theater too. and the other places, mm -hmm. and uh, hope to see you back in the Twin Cities soon. I hope to be back soon. Okay. Thank you, Julia. Good Thanks, to see Bill. you again. You know, they asked me to do the Winter Carnival. Oh, and did we they? are off that week. You're and not my doing mother it. and stepfather are coming out here. Oh, are they? I could have just killed them for not asking me sooner because.